And welcome back, Aski here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today's episode is on collecting all of the Jinjos in Rusty Bucket Bay. Just two more levels to go in our Jinjo guide. I find this level sort of interesting when it comes to Jinjos because uh, there are none on the Rusty Bucket itself. That's the ship in the center of the level. Sort of the centerpiece of everything. So we'll be going around the outside and picking up all the Jinjos from there instead. First, we'll be collecting the pink one here. This is kind of off to the right side of the entrance of the level. Now that underwater room right there can be sort of tricky, or trickier than you might think at least, as when you swim down there, the camera just kind of decides it's gonna have a mind of its own and it flies off into the corner to kind of give you a different camera angle. Uh, now that doesn't really change the way Banjo and Kazooie control underwater, but you know, having that different uh, uh, point of view all of a sudden can kind of make it difficult to know which which way to point the control stick. But it looks like we got through it all right. Moving on now, we're gonna head over to this other corner of Rusty Bucket Bay. Now this is another one of those things where you have to get uh, you know a certain distance away from something before you can even see it. Um, there's this yellow Jinjo over here on this, this buoy thing. Um, and unless you're pretty much inside the cage, or at least standing on top of it, you'd never really know he was there, so that one's kind of difficult. And, uh, yet again, the camera kind of fights us there, uh, trying to swim around while the camera doesn't really want to cooperate. It's just kind of a, a weird quirk of this level. Uh, but again, we got out of it okay. We're gonna swim on over here, climb on up, and hop over this radioactive pool of sludge. I think I mentioned it in the music note guide. Uh, for a long time, I thought this green stuff would kill you instantly if you touched it, and I would stress out really, really bad about getting that Jinjo, but it turns out you can fall into it. It doesn't actually kill you. Of course, it hurts you, but it doesn't kill you instantly. So don't stress about that. We'll be hopping up onto this crane now, and that's to cross over and actually hop onto the ship itself. Nice jump. Hop onto the ship itself. Um, this will actually be the only time that we'll touch the ship, and like I said, there's not a Jinjo there, we're just kind of getting around. We'll actually be climbing onto the other crane after crossing from the front of the ship to the back. Got a few seconds before we see another Jinjo. In the meantime, I'd love to hear which Jinjo had you caught up. Which one of these were you missing? Which, <laughs> which one were you looking absolutely everywhere for and still couldn't find? I certainly know that feeling. I'm, I'm willing to bet it's going to be the last one, though. The last one's kind of tucked away in an area that I didn't even really know was an area, to be perfectly honest with you, when I was first playing this game. Anyway, though, we'll talk about that in just a second. We're back up here on the other crane, and we are just going to fling ourselves off and then pay the egg toll to extend this bridge. So in this corner of the map over here, there's very few ladders leading up to anything, really. So like this area that we're walking over to over here, there's no ladder uh, that, that will get you up here. So you have to cross over using that bridge that we just used. And even on the area with the back over there where the crane was, there's no ladder leading up to that either. So you actually have to reach that using the, um, the ship by, of course, climbing up the rope. And then, yeah, like we did, cross over using the top of the crane and then jumping down. And then luckily we'll be able to come over here and use this other toll booth. And we'll be able to cross over to where the final Jinjo is. And you can you can see me here fighting the strongest enemy in Banjo-Kazooie, the camera. There's a lot of things that the camera likes to bump into on this map, and the camera in Banjo-Kazooie does something kind of funny, like when it strikes something, it just like turns, like almost does a 180 degree turn, and it like can really disorient you. And I've fallen off of a lot of stuff in this game because of that. Anyway, though, this is that area that I, I was saying I didn't really know was a place. <laughs> I didn't know that middle container was something you can go into. For some period of time, at least. Anyway, though, that was five Jinjos on Rusty Bucket Bay. That wasn't too terribly bad. I mean, it could have been worse, I suppose. Um, two of the Jinjos on this map are, of course, either in the water or around the water, which can be kind of dangerous in Rusty Bucket Bay with the whole double air thing, um, but I think if you just kind of stay focused and get them and get out and not really screw around, I think you'll do just fine. Anyway though, that's going to do it for my Rusty Bucket Bay Jinjo guide. Next up is going to be our final level in the Jinjo 
walk through a series. That'll be Click Clock Woods. Stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next video.